Hello friends and welcome to my new tutorial. This is third part of my composition, third part of lessons and today we will do like this. In two my previous tutorial we created uh, this uh, composition. We are making modeling of our street lights, borders, some uh, buildings, texturing for these buildings and today I will show you some very interesting way how to use a uh, redshift lights, redshift volu volumetric lights and how to finally receive very photorealistic composition looks like in I don't know maybe some frame from some movie so if you are ready let's start Okay, we are in Cinema 4D and now we will start work with lights. Uh, first of all check that render is redshift. After that go inside to basic and reduce a uh, sampling. I will use a uh, 1 and 1, very very minimum because I need very fast calculation and not too much loading of my computer. Then take out this enable of IPR, we no need it. Go to system, bucket and apply spiral very good so uh, if you apply now redshift ipr you will have like this you will have like this looks like very nice i use the default color this default color is here if you take out you have a nothing only illumination or like this yes and 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 what else just to little bit randomize i change I change direction of that building like this okay very good and what we will do now now we start apply a redshift lights for all all my object uh, as you know in previous video we are created all this geometry then we download all this building from video copilot metropolitan pack then we apply redshift textures have some small problem if you didn't check, please check my previous tutorials. And now we will start work with redshift lights. Okay. Uh, first of all, I take a one street light and make it like a solo object. I have Magic Solo plugin. If you haven't, you can use from this area, but I have Solo plugin. First of all, take out camera, take this light and make a solo. Very good. Where is my object? No. My object is here. My object is here. So, for this object, I will use, in present moment, I will switch off it. I will use a redshift light area light. As you know, the blue one, this is direction of this light. So, I change it to down for 90 degrees and put up somewhere close to this area and I need now top view go to top view go somewhere here and put this light exactly exactly inside maybe like this maybe like this very good go to front view go inside and change rotation and put somewhere here like this so one of the light almost fix it it's not necessary put inside just little bit very good we have one light one light already in the place uh, settings for my light i will use little bit later not in present moment uh, finish with solo now we are again in my in my too much too much building okay everything in dark because my display now ground shading i will use a quick shading very good i have this light and if uh, it's a very very big problem with redshift i don't know how to fix it maybe in future for example if i put my light inside to the street lights 
is copying automatically by my plugin. But if I render, if I render it, I haven't nothing, no any lights coming. I can increase, I, I don't know, up to maximum, maybe, maybe like this. Again, try to render, and again I have a nothing. I don't know why, but lights not working when it's like a child of other object, like uh, you see, parent, one child, and second child like a grandchild, I don't know. Okay, uh, to fix this problem, I just take out from that area, go to cloner, where is my cloner, and put this light inside to the cloner, like this. Uh, you see it's coming down, for this, uh, to fix this problem, I need to fix clone, take out it, and my clone coming exactly in this position. So, as you remember, I use for my uh, street lights, I use a 500 centimeters. I will make also like this. Uh, not, not 500. Just moment. 400, 400. I will use 400 centimeters. So I also will use 400 centimeters. And as you remember, I use 25 lights, like this, up to end. And now, if I render it. Now I have this light and oh you see it's coming too much too much illumination so I have to go inside and reduce for a moment like this. Go to camera, uh, redshift IPR, render and start play. Uh, looks like it's daytime. So first of all I change a color or maybe temperature. I use maybe today temperature. I will I will make a warm 350 like this. You see, it's already coming very interesting picture, like a like a evening. So what I will do now, I little bit decrease a uh, pressure to make it more dark. I no need some additional illumination. Maybe like this. Okay. And what else? Uh, as you can see, I have illumination, but I cannot see some lights. To fix it, I need to go downstairs and put visible. Just enable. And what I have? I have some lights. Very, very nice. Uh, additionally, I like to use some volumet volumetric of these lights. So, uh, go to Redshift settings. Go to basic environment and create atmosphere now nothing changed absolutely nothing because i didn't apply for my light for standard light volume so i go inside and apply just really little bit 0 0.01 and what i have and as you can see coming some volume coming really really too much volume and everything coming very bright my computer make some long calculation. I don't know why. Mm, yeah, zero one. But as you can see, it taking some long calculation. So now I start to play with Redshift Atmosphere. Uh, inside, I have some very important three settings: scattering, attenuation, maybe like this, and fuzz. So what is taking scattering? If I increase. I have more lights, incredibly more lights. I no need it. Just put back. What doing these settings? If I start increase, you can see my volumetric light going to almost to the zero, just little bit and everything very dark like in the fog. I also don't like it. And what doing these settings? If I increase it, I have more lights, if I decrease it, I have less light, only close to my, close to my, how it's calling, lights, yes, maybe like 0 0.8, and here is too much, and here is already not too much, so maybe I will use minus 0 0.7, maybe like this, you can use what you like. 
uh, then I don't like it. It's very bright. I going to light area. As you can see, if I increase here, for example, 0 0.5, I again have more 0 0.1 less, and you can play how you like it. So I going to to general and decrease little bit illumination, maybe 250, and maybe 800. Just check what we have. Uh, anyway, it's still too bright. Maybe 500. And maybe like this. Just check what I have. I don't like make it very, very bright street. Just, just little bit. Little dark, yes, maybe like this. As you can see here, some lights coming, but later we will fix it later we will fix it so now more or less i like it looks like looks like real i have some lights inside in the building somewhere here light on the top very nice uh what i will do now i will apply now some some material for my street so copy them apply i will make it really small just put somewhere here and now we will start play with my my road i apply here this maybe i will little bit increase like this and put here to avoid any okay now i have this back way it's with road and coming far very good so uh, first of all i take out from this road any reflection just zero i no need and this is back road i don't touch anymore i will work with this material which i make a copy from them going and first of all i push a stop just to increase little bit speed what i will do copy of them and make some bump so first of all color correct in my previous video in some of previous tutorials i teach you how to make a bump use only one texture maybe we maybe we know not not use it only like this color correction zero saturation put inside like texture and put inside like a like a bump very good what i have i have some bump also i like to use some specular so from this area i drag and drop to the reflection weights like this coming like this material very nice check what i have okay as you can see looks like maybe road maybe not i don't know if i little bit no uh, close if i check here looks like looks like very nice looks like real asphalts maybe some plane is coming because my texture is not so good but i will keep in present moment like this yeah, I, I like this illumination and back front. It's look like very interesting. Okay. Uh, now I will apply some puddles or wet asphalt. In one of my tutorials, where I created some car inside in the garage, I showing you how to do it. So uh, we are going to noise. Take noise. After noise, we take a color correct put inside increase contrast put here and go to a shift IPR uh, all areas as you can see my nose apply it like a no yeah maybe I no need atmosphere just to increase the speed just like this okay uh, what is this for what I need it now i will try to explain you uh, noise will create my puddles 
and I like to make it big size. So going inside to the noise, first of all I will use a maybe fractal or maybe turbulence, I don't know. In beginning, I don't know, maybe fractal. Coordinates and reduce the size. Like this. Maybe less. Like this. Okay. Uh, as you can see, coming some like like a puddles, but not not yet ready. Maybe like this. Okay, maybe like 0 0.2 only. Okay, we will do like this. It will be very big puddles. Very big puddles. In color correction, I will uh, change a little bit contrast to 0 0.98 just to make like this maybe 99. Okay, just to make a soft this uh, border between white and black color. I will do like this. And next, what I have to do when I am satisfied with size of these puddles, where when I am satisfied, I apply I apply this color correction inside to yeah just a moment I go back okay very nice I apply this color correction to the coating coating weights like this as you can see some puddles already coming I go into coating and weights is already done so uh very simple very easy and looks like very very natural uh going to the settings increase full hd high division hd tv and make a render and check what i have i have like a real puddles real puddles on the floor i have uh, illumination inside in these puddles but somewhere not only inside in yeah maybe in this area not inside in the puddles but looks like very nice uh so from the asphalt from the asphalt i take out go inside here base properties reflection and maybe maybe i will increase up to 0 0.6 i will do like this and check again what i have again render Okay, now I think it's more, more interesting. Uh, here and here. I think it's more interesting. I have reflection only inside in the puddles. Very good, very good. Looks like very nice street. Uh, if I apply now my atmosphere and render one more time, it's taking, of course, a little bit more longer time, but we will have very interesting picture and what i don't like i don't like reflection of my street lights and my carbs i think i will go stop now i no need it i go to this material i go to this area and and just take out i no need any reflection absolutely check again what i have maybe now it will be better uh, yes, but it looks like not natural. So check again. Go inside. Increase and maybe increase up to 0 0.8. To make like this. And maybe I will change texture to a little bit dark. Gamma. Or just decrease a gamma. 0 0.5. No? Not working? enable eight okay yes very good i will use a five just to make it dark maybe eight okay check again what i have okay it's so dark and maybe some small reflection coming some puddles some asphalts and very very interesting very interesting looks like very very interesting what i don't like i think illumination uh, reflection coming also in this area not only in the puddles also in this area how to fix it now we will check what's the problem we are going inside coating 
roadness 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 maybe i will apply it also to roadness i don't know reflection roadness check what i have maybe it will give me some some difference but i'm not sure Mm, yes, yes, I more more like it. We will check this and this. This look like more interesting. I need only take out little bit bump because my bump bump too much coming bump. I think I have to take out little bit bump. Going inside here and make it 0 0.1 only. Just just really little bit and check again. It's taking some times for renders, but when you play, when you change some settings, you will have very nice pictures finally. Yeah, so I like it. I very like it. And in final render, of course, we will increase, uh, we will increase uh, sampling and we will have very, very good pictures. Look, only check it. This is only for one samples, only for one samples, and l you have very beautiful pictures. Lo looks like in some I don't know some movie or somewhere. Uh, very nice. This is done. What we will do now? Maybe I make little bit bright. It's it's just playing. Yeah, I told you I didn't prepare any lessons before. Yeah, like this. Okay, finish. Okay, we are going to add some additional light. It will be like a spotlight. I don't need now camera. I take the spotlight, put somewhere here. Top and blue one. This is direction of this light. Turn down like this. What I have, I go again to the picture, to the camera view. First of all, put down, and now I start set up the slide. First of all, this is, will be a blue color, maybe like this. And then I increase the uh, power of this light. Go to Redshift, play, and check what I have. Coming some light on the street. Maybe I will make it a little bit bright. like this okay now it's bright and i also like to add some volumetric for this light go to volume go to and increase some scale what i have in present moment nothing just as you can see little bit from this area coming very very small uh, change up to five okay coming more as you can see for different light you have to use different settings and sometimes okay coming again more maybe will be 0.2 very nice then i will increase uh, pressure of this light like this yes very good very good i like it in this moment then i will increase a uh, con uh, i think it's, it's really too much so i will use maybe only 50 percent and fallout maybe 10 percent just like this maybe more maybe 15 percent fallout it will be more bright inside and very very light outside like this and i will put this light up somewhere here just to not see on my camera okay now i decrease little bit con for 40 degrees just make like like this maybe and maybe more up okay change volume maybe 0.3 very nice and I think I will put little bit little bit closer to the camera maybe somewhere somewhere here oh somewhere here
Okay, go to the settings and change. What we will change? We will change size. Will be wide screen, like a Hollywood movie. We will use like this. And what we have? We have like this area light. Mm, looks like very nice. If I check what I have here, yes, maybe same size. Only I put little bit closer to my to my camera, somewhere here. Yeah. Okay, very nice. It's closer to my camera, and I like I like this position. I really like this position. What I will do now? Uh, we are going almost to the finish. I go to Content Browser. Uh, I don't know. When I set up my Cinema 4D, I have some Visualize folder, and inside in this folder, I have a Humans folder. Maybe you have it, maybe you haven't. I don't know, but I have, and I will use it. So inside, I have some 3D models. Very, very different models you see it's it's too much it's some cut it some like this i will use this model uh, this girl so i like it uh, i think she's speaking by telephone but it doesn't matter mm, i i i use this just double click and it's automatically applied to my street as you can see i have folder oh sorry folder girl i have some girl and I have some texture for girl. If I go in inside, as you can see, this texture inside in my plugin, inside in my Cinema 4D. And just to take out this texture and put inside and Redshift, I, ne I need to make some additional actions. So, uh, click here. Yes, on the texture. Then edit image. And you have it inside in picture view. Save it like jpeg full quality somewhere on your desktop like this very good this is will be like diffuse color then we are going to no luminance no transparency reflection inside i have a nothing no any reflection normal i have some normal this is like a bump Push here, edit image, as you can see, and save somewhere, save somewhere also on your folder. Increase the quality, also JPEG, save. Very good. Uh, two pictures save it. So now I will create a Redshift material, go inside in this Redshift material, take texture 1, texture, texture 2, First will be diffuse color from my desktop. I will use as this is, is like diffuse color put inside. And second will be bump. So go inside to, uh, come on. I think it's big size of this texture and my computer need time for sync. Put inside, input, and use like a bump material. I, for bump I will use maybe 0 0.1 scale just just little bit and I think I don't need any reflection because this is just it's just oh, or maybe I will use a 0 0.8 reflection because this is body this is human with close standard okay when it's done I take this redshift material hold alt on your keyboard drag and drop as you can see it's already red shifted and put somewhere here exactly under the light and change direction somewhere here and what i have i have some girl which is thinking looking to the i don't know to the future i go to the camera camera setup tag i use redshift tag redshift camera bokeh enable and what I will do additionally, I think I will use, no, only this, only this. Okay, check finally what I have, 
if you are satisfied okay i think it's very interesting composition i think it's very really interesting composition i have reflection of my girl inside in the wet asphalt mm, i think i take out this reflection i don't know it looks like not not na natural mm, very 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 strange i go to reflection mm, base not reflection rows coating coating rows maybe here i have reflection and reflection weights maybe 0 0.8 i will use check again mm -hmm. no uh, i will take out Cotton grows, I no need it, and check again. I think now it will work correctly. Okay. Anyway, something coming here, and in present moment, I don't know how to fix it. Maybe I will fix it. I don't know. Uh, I will check. I'm not sure, but I will check by this in increase full and what I have anyway. Mm -hmm. This is some playing, yeah some playing more or less all time jumping no i will apply anyway okay texture diffuse color back again coating yes 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 okay very good and additionally camera focus distance exactly on my girl again check mm, sorry again check what i have behind if my camera working properly just play i like to make a background it's smooth like a mm -hmm, very nice yes so i like it i like this picture going to the settings redshift increase too much maybe 512 like this i don't know we will check uh, change bucket size up to maximum and and save somewhere on the desktop like png file 16 bits channel because i will do some additional color correction we will call it go in the night on the desktop only one picture and and uh, yeah maybe i will little bit increase a uh, bokeh like this maybe on the two so when everything ready just push just a moment i will i will check i will check because i like to smooth like to make a focus distance background play with little bit background yeah two is good two is coming good it's coming very very smooth some object inside here ah uh, you know maybe i additionally add some lights also in this area so i take one more redshift area light go to general I will use a cylinder. It's somewhere here. Just change direction. Where is my light? My light is here. 
I give some lights also for my industrial objects. So make it very small 10, 10. Okay, and maybe just just like this. Put inside. Mm, somewhere here also inside. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. My bulb is done. Uh, I will use also some yellow color. Warm. Or temperature. 3000. I will use 3000. And... Mm -hmm. Radiance. I don't know. Maybe 200 and 100. Now we will check. Go here play and what I have we have to wait a little bit but we are almost uh, finished these tutorials yeah you see some light is coming and and looks like very very nice I will add this light also somewhere randomly to other object so take this light copy of them mm, I have this object I put here just change 90 degrees direction put somewhere like this and somewhere here i can find it i'm sure yeah and somewhere here very good okay somewhere here i have this light and this building and this light a little bit push okay this light and and this building I push little bit forward just to see between two these street lights check again I think my composition going to finish, remaining little bit. Yeah, you see, here is light, here is light, here is light. Looks like, looks like natural. Maybe I just little bit, only little bit increase, maybe 300 and maybe 150. Check again. Okay, little bit bright and here, little bit bright. I think it's good. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Everything done. Again, increase for good quality. Check size. Check PNG file. Redshift settings. System bucket. Everything ready. And push render. Okay, render completed. On my computer it's taking 36 minutes for only one frame, for only one picture. But you can see this is really, really very good quality, very good volumetric lines, bokeh, blurring, uh, reflections, and yes, so object. I like, I like these pictures. And uh, what we will do now, we are going to our, we don't need it. We are going to our Adobe After Effects and just download these pictures to a new composition. So I have it. I will increase a full quality for only one frame. And what I will add? First of all, I will add some, some new solid. And I call it optical optical flutters effects video copilot optical flutters inside i will take out everything i know needed i will take only yellow color just maybe like little bit warm little bit maybe like this and apply only this only this line okay Put it on original and 
apply like a screen. I have these lights and just reduce the size, maybe 25 and 25 just little bit. Put somewhere here. We increase. Okay, like this. Then take it, copy, push somewhere here and reduce maybe 20 20 copy 15 15 and put somewhere here copy 10 10 small and copy 5 5 will be very very small we will put to the last one okay very good what else check where is I have some additional light maybe here I will also put copy maybe increase I don't know maybe 20 20 take this optical flare and put in this area and change take it little bit more warm maybe like this okay yeah very good I have this optical flare slides very nice and additionally layers adjustment layer and apply some color correction I will use a magic bullet and I like this zombie zombie classic I think for this picture it will look like very very nice only just opacity take out maybe for 50% without and with this just little bit color correction so everything done how to save it go to add to render code save I don't know maybe jpeg file on the desktop render when everything completed when everything done we are going inside and we check finally what we have looks like very nice composition and if you like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel it will be very good for me please share this tutorial to your friends uh, put like and uh, see you next time goodbye friends